We've decided what we're doing. We've had an email from Kelly, who runs the marina at Carrick, to say that some mail has accidentally been delivered from our time there. So obviously somebody has an old address. And um, we're going to go pick it up. It's not so much snail mail, it's... Snail mail! mail. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so we, we run over to Carrick, pick up our mail. You can do some shopping in Sainsbury's if you're in the mood. Just get, some, get some groceries. <laughs> And then it's um, back over to Bangor, and we'll see what we do when we get back over to this side. Yeah, so, uh, okay, fair enough. It's uh, a bit crazy, but do you know what? If you've ever watched our channel before, you'll know. That Crazy's we... what we do. <laughs> ah, tell you what, since you're the uh, skipper today and I'm the helm today, I think I'll go put the kettle on. Oh, music to my ears. He looks anchored, but I can't see his anchor. His anchor ball's up though. Well, then the anchor must be on the other side. Yeah. What's the name on the What's the name on the front of that boat? Uh, Transatlantica. Is it day two or something? Hmm. Yeah, it could be T A G or T A C, and then day two. Well, I can't see any of that. All okay. I, I can. All I can see is uh, yes. The I can see the anchor now. Yes, Daytona. Not day two. Daytona. Oh, I see, Daytona. So, oh, right, the Transatlantica is the boat manufacturer. Yeah, or the shipping line, yes. Yeah. But you can see the anchor on the other side now. Yes, they're, they're obviously on their starboard anchor. Yes. But I can see the anchor ball. You can just see it. Um, right at the front. Oh, is that on the stick? Yeah. Okay, fair enough. There's a circle on a stick. stick. <laughs> practice in this sailing area which we've crossed dozens of times if not hundreds I don't know how many times we went back and forward here but we're sitting here having our cup of tea and all of a sudden we're looking over the bus saying what's that there's something in front of us <laughs> I knew what it was I never said you didn't but it's just the fact we'd forgotten to expect the main channel well, voyage yes. so the main shipping channel is uh, <laughs> just we're just about to cross it there's no shipping about nothing showing up in AIS nothing doing um, Plenty of boats that are anchored, but nothing moving. <laughs> <laughs> so we've adjusted our um, passage to take us to leeward of the um, marker because there's no point in fighting to go to windward and just getting blown down on it. You may as well go to leeward and make yourself make your life easy. Yeah. yeah. And then once we've crossed, that's when uh, the channel. That's um, when we'll tack. I think. Yeah, we'll get a bit more tea. What do you think? Oh. Definitely having more tea, girl. Yeah, so we'll have a bit more tea and then we'll have a couple more sips of tea. We'll do a tack, head down that way, and then with a bit of luck, it'll just be a good run into Carrick. Yeah, should be. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Ready! Just see as we... I better work later on. Alright, we're close hold. 
and just get this one loaded up. Get this one tidied up. <laughs> so you want us to get to a bearing of... Me? You're the skipper. Oh, I know, but we wanted a bearing of... Um... About 320-ish. 320. Because that's what we were close hauled a few minutes ago. Yes. So I'm guessing that's what will be close hauled again. Yeah. So if we're somewhere near that... That should be good. We should be close to Carrick's entrance, I would have thought. Yeah. I don't think we can get much closer than this. No, we can't. This is as close as we can get. I'll see if I can flatten that main down a bit. You know, on the kicker. Okay. So we are. Um, and um, that means we're going to be getting into shallower water. So what I've done is I've just put a little mark with the cursor uh, just outside the 10 metres uh, line. That's the depth line. And um, we're going to uh, make our tack there. Right, we're not far enough forward to get to the marina, but we're about halfway to it from where we were earlier. We are. Yeah. So uh, let's get that tack going, Bev. And see what the wind's like a bit further in, see if it comes round in the shadow of the land. Yeah. All right, let's give it a go. I'm up, I'm up for it. Right, OK, so I'm just uh, getting this on to... Um... Yeah, do give the autopilot heart failure. <laughs> right, OK, so I'm on... <laughs> I'm on standby. Always a good plan. OK, are you ready to tack? Ready. So the crew is ready, so let's get on with that tack. What have I told you before about swinging that tiller around? I know, I like to swing it round. Yeah. Hey, look at the 12 productions now. <laughs> right, let's get this uh, traveller back over on the other side, yeah? That's that one. What do I like? That's fairly well close hauled. That's all done. Let's get it straightened up. Well, to get the best angle, I'm steering pretty much for the castle. Oh, that's good. So that's not too bad, to be honest, Bev. Well, we'll take that. Maybe the wind's shifting. Yeah, I've got plenty of room on that. Right, we're on auto. Yep. And to be honest, we're not bad line. Yeah, this is so, pretty good. Because Carrick of Fergus Castle is pretty much on our nose. You might have to take us a few degrees over, I think. Yes. Like three or four maybe it would do. I'm just basically going to leeward, uh, falling off the wind um, to widen the sail. Because we're just a tad too... There, that's forward. better. That's stopped the luffing. Yeah. Well, we're lined up in the marine clock, I can see it. Yes. Sort of stick in the distance. Oh, yes. That's not bad. That'll do us. Right, we'll take this for a bit. Oh. Well, where are we now? Looks like we're going to be doing another tack, Bev. Radio, because we think we're pretty close to where we need to be. Uh, yeah. 
Um, I have got um, the entrance to Carrick roughly on my tack lines. Um, for Salty Lass, that's kind of like that over, way. <laughs> over my shoulder a wee bit. Um, so that's where I've roughly got her. Um, At least on this one, you might not have to go totally close hauled. Yeah, that's so you means. might be able to lay off a wee bit, which is because the more close hauled you are, the less speed you get. Yeah. Anyway, I'll just take up the topping lift. There we go. And so uh, let's get on with it, Bev. Yeah. But Beverly told me off last time for doing a. Um, for being too harsh on the turn. Um. Yeah. Being All too right. harsh on the tiller. Yes. It, it's not an instant turn. It's a nice gradual turn. Basically, what she's saying is, if I push the tiller too far over, then what happens is um, I'll actually have the tiller at 90 degrees. Instead of it going like that, the tiller just go like that and act like a big brake and stop the boat. Yeah, so it just breaks it. So, yeah, so uh, she's telling me to be nice and gentle. Yeah, so. turn, turn it over till the stern starts to move, then just keep turning it slowly and gradually. Okay, so let's put that into action. It's not a sudden event. <laughs> I like. Anyway, we're talking, by the way. Are we? Okay. It's nice to know these things. You're supposed to shout out salty things. Okay. <laughs> I should have said ready to tack tacking. Yeah, right. Come on, you put it over now. Let's get the uh, nose to... Let's get, this, let's get the Jenny to put the nose through the wind. Jenny's through the wind. I have to say, it was a lot quicker, nicer and gentler. Fell off the knuckle. Right, so I'll just get this uh, traveller onto the correct side. Oh, everything's catching on everything else. Right, let's travel her over. Right. And it looks like the marina is in my sights. Okay, you get all this clear. Say when. Go. Got it too. What do you think? Let's call that a wrap. <laughs> Up there.
just gone and uh, picked up my uh, little letter so um, I'll be finding out who that's from in a minute let's just at least find out who it's from you've won a million on the lottery no 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 it's from your sister I recognize the writing oh right <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's a letter from... Um, it's a clipping. It's a clipping. And uh, you might not be able to recognise me because I'm about, oh, five or six. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a clipping showing uh, me as a little one. So uh, that's a, an unexpected little thing. 